So I didn't happen to capture this on video, but I ended up going to McDonald's for lunch, which is right near another customs office. I know, I can't get away from uh, borders. And then I went over to Walmart because I wanted to get a towel because I'm gonna go to the beach. So I'm in Plattsburgh, New York right now, and I'm going to Plattsburgh City Beach. You know, just to uh, hang loose or whatever. <laughs> so apparently the Plattsburgh beaches are closed for whatever reason. It just says no swimming, and I'm severely disappointed in that. But back on South Hero, which is across the Lake Champlain, there are a couple of beaches over there, so I'm going to be heading back. But if I were to just drive on road, then it would take me all the way north to the next available road. But from Plattsburgh to South Hero, they have a ferry that I'm going to take. This ferry travels from Cumberland Bay in Plattsburgh to South Hero, Vermont. So I'm gonna be taking it. Hello. Yep. Can you reach it? Probably not. Barely. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty, and we are on our way. I got this jug of water to keep me busy. I bought this jug when I was at Stewart's shop over in Plattsburgh because I didn't know what to expect from today's weather conditions, if I was going to be super dehydrated or not. Best purchase I've made all day. Looks like we're on the move now. probably the best view of Lake Champlain that I'm ever going to get. And we are about to dock. Ugh. Finally, after searching forever and ever to actually find a beach that'll, that I can go to, I landed on Sandbar State Park. Uh, right outside of South Hero. I'm just happy I get to go swimming now. This is honestly the most relaxing thing that I've done in a while. Okay, now I am finished. <laughs> Why does this happen every single time I try to do an uh, explanation thing? Oh, God. <sighs> All right, let's try that again. Now that I'm done at the beach and have been swimming for a little bit, I'm going to go get some dinner in Burlington. So many bikers, not the motorcycle kind. So I was just walking down the street and I realized
gotten pretty exhausted from today, so I just came back to the cabin and decided to watch the sunset. One of a typical taking a trip out to the middle of nowhere and uh, looking at nature type of things. This is also my last evening here, so I'm going to enjoy every second of it. You know, spending two days up here it doesn't really uh, cover all the uh, fun stuff that you could do up here. But hey, now at least I know for next time that I should book a longer stay at a hotel, motel, holiday inn, resort, just literally anywhere that I'm staying just so I can get a better... Uh, experience overall so I can stay longer. Yesterday and today, they were actually the most fun I've had in forever. I never knew that Vermont could be this amazing. I honestly would have never thought that I would spend the beginning of my summer watching TikToks near a lake, watching a sunset in Vermont. past 40 minutes that I've been out here watching the sunset, the wind has been picking up very, very slowly, but I'm starting to feel the breeze now. This little caterpillar was uh, on my bathing suit and I didn't even realize. Oh, there he goes. What you know about rolling down in the deep? He's not going over the cliff. Good choice, man. Good choice. I think that's all I'm gonna see of the, uh, the sunset tonight. I've been out here for close to an hour now. Whoop. Well, now, just heading back to the cabin.